Welcome to a Sustainable World Learning Expedition, where we help create young gardens of the earth, thinking globally and acting locally. Hey everyone, this is Ilonka from chindiainspirations.com and a Sustainable World Learning Expedition. Today I would like to share with you a learning expedition that I designed for the beautiful Pavewood Nature Park protected area in Suriname, South America back in August of 2015. The curriculum is based on a project-based project learning and uh, was designed for an age group of about 8 to 15, but in, the, in practice it turned out that the group was much younger than that, so we differentiated in the um, implementation, which went very successful. In project-based learning, learners get the opportunity to use their higher order, order thinking skills in a meaningful environment. And what is so beautiful to see each time is how much talent that is present within our children, which unfortunately our traditional schooling systems are not yet capturing um, enough of that yet. So um, come with me back to August 2015 to the beautiful Payport Nature Park protected area where the animals and plants of Paper Pot had a very important message to share with us. Here you see the route that we took, where at day one and two were getting to know and value nature. In day three, um, we introduced a forest with a story, which is the Paper Pot culture heritage. And then we looked to see how can we protect not only Paper Pot, but also Mother Earth. The the kick off the the whole thing is is gets is is kicked off with where the plants and animals of Paper Pot protected area they speak up with a drama storytelling, and then they go in search of the Paper Pot treasures, going on a discovery nature earth walk, and also making creative um, doing creative things using the theme. On day three, they actually go into an archaeological dig to introduce difficult themes such as slavery, which was a part of the plantation history. Uh, they, are, they, are, they do a earth walk with a theme of forest with a story, and they actually learn to make a traditional scratchy co cocoa project, product. On the last day, it is um, in there introduced to the biodiversity and a green lifestyle do, do stations through that. And Creative Corner always uh, looking at uh, creative ways to bring the theme alive. And in the final day, it's actually their time to share. There's, we created a tree where they leave their messages behind for us and other learners to come. And they also share that what they have learned. What's very important about um, what you see in these learning environments, especially with learners that are not used to um, having such uh, innovative learning um, experiences, is that it's important for, for the teachers or the facilitators to role model. So you'll see the, myself as well as the park rangers in training doing a lot of storytelling, doing a lot of plays, and the idea is that you set the ladder high because you want your learners to reach that ladder and they usually exceed your expectations. Here you see we're getting to know each other through icebreakers and there we go, we're in route to the home base camp. Some more warm-up games to get the group connected with each other. And here, um, you know, using song, using the body, uh, as well as um, mind, mind uh, brain games to connect with one another. And then the plants and animals of people but protected area, they speak up. And here you see the rangers, as well as myself, um, role modeling a play, a drama. This is setting the theme for the whole entire experience, where the plants and the animals of paper pot come alive. Very important in the process is also team building activities because um, the, the children or the learners, it's very important that they learn to work well with one another. 
and of course warming up the body before we go into the forest and do all these activities is a very important part also. And they go into the, um, are they're introduced into their entire experience with their nature journal. And here you see us getting organized for the Discover Nature Earth Walk. They get to see, which is day one, they, we, we, we uh, review who we really are as Earth Rangers. We are trustworthy. We try different things. We, we want to learn. We're honest. We're creative. We're team players. We're helpful. And the kids come up with their own things about who they are as Babypod Earth Rangers. And then we also look at what can we do. We can be quiet and we can observe well. We use all our senses. We can make good notes. And in this case, because the children were very young, we had um, more volunteers to help us with the writing so that they could express verbally and the rangers could write things down. And then they go and search for paper pots, hidden treasures. And they, and they use a map where they're actually learning to use map reading and as well as a compass and a GPS so that they can go in search of the um, treasures which we hid in the forest. Before setting out into the forest, you see t Team Tamanua, which is the giant anteater, reflecting uh, on how the strategy is going to be. And here you see Team Miraudu which is a beautiful um, tree in the forest of paper pot, also reflecting before they go into the forest. The earth walk that they experience is actually quite different than just a regular walk. Usually we chat along the way and um, talk and what we actually, we miss out on a lot of what's going on around us. And on the earth walk, we teach the children to become still and peaceful within so that they can absorb all the beauty and the treasures that nature has to offer them. And we do this in a very um, a, a fun way where we actually get to practice with what we call a turtle walk. So that they walk quietly and that they actually have to be very quiet and, and listen to things they hear and also things they see on their turtle walk learning to use all their senses. So nature has a very natural way of helping the children to become more mindful. Here you see them start to just discover um, things on the earth walk and more discovery together with the earth rangers. And then they discover or find the Mira Udu treasure box using their maps where the learners through visual cards get to write stories um, and do drama plays um, and writing their own creative story. So here you see with visuals, you get the children to um, come up with their own creative stories. And here, you'll, we were amazed, these were young learners yet and they could not write most of them could not write yet we compensated that with the the earth that the rangers helping out but looking at what they came up with here was the it's just amazing you see how much talent is actually in these children so they are not too young to be very very creative in their storytelling and here we have the um, volunteer park rangers in training or acting out the creative stories of the Mira Udu group. This is all in preparing the young learners to in a little bit also do their own performance later, later with drama and storytelling. So lots of role modeling by the park rangers. Here again, they're using all their senses to explore the nature. And this was kind of a, a train the trainer program as well. So um, as a facilitator, as the lead facilitator, I um, guided the program, but together with the, the park ranger, so they get to learn immediately in, in, in a full immersion way. All right. So here together we're executing the pilot learning camp. And here we discover and find the Kankan 3 treasure box, 
where learners now get to finish partially started Peeplepot comic strips. Here you see what the friends of Peeplepot um, that they met, uh, Tami, the big Tamanua, is, is actually um, being the lead in this comic and starting off the children so that they themselves then, using the visuals and the, their own experiences with the drama and the storytelling, can come up with their own creative stories or finish the comic strip and actually draw and come up with their own creative um, uh, drawings as well. All right, and here we see the Jacobar singing, also role modeling, and, and inspiring the kids to come up with their own. This concludes then part one of the beautiful experience, the learning expedition that we had in Paperfoot Nature Park in Suriname back in 2015 of August. Um, we will continue the next part um, tomorrow, so keep connected with us. What we will, we will be, as most of you know, we will be starting a, the learning expedition, a sustainable work in Aruba starting September. And that unit will go on for three months. It will be once a week on Fridays from three to six. And there's still places for your children. And what we will do during the school year is that we'll also work on getting the program online for those parents and teachers or youth programs that do not have the opportunity to come visit us in Aruba so that in their own local beautiful environments they can also um, experience uh, the sustainable world learning expedition so keep connected with us keep doing your part and doing and helping to make this world a better place for all of us stay tuned bye all right so this was day one of the sample curriculum a special thanks to the Paperpot Rangers at the time. I remember Ranger Gilly, Rafael, Rachelle, Natalie, and all the volunteer rangers for their support in helping to test the pilot curriculum. And also many thanks to the researcher scientist Serrano Ramsharan for also volunteering his time to interact with the learners. And we'll see you on day two of the Paperpot Earth Rangers curriculum.